This is a vintage Rainier Brewing Company from Seattle uh, ashtray. I actually have four of these, um, but this is the first one to sell for 20 bucks. This is a vintage uh, Navy aircraft carrier um, hat. We do very well with these uh, because they are so specific. Um, this one actually sold on Bonanza for $25. This is a United States Air Force recruiting school, um, kind of like laminated coin. Um, it's kind of funny. It says, boy, am I enthusiastic. Attitude is everything. Uh, and I think we just found this in like the bottom of a box lot. But it sold for 13 bucks. Two shiny metal objects sold the other day. This is a solid brass. Just a basic vase. We've had it for a couple of years and sold for $13 on sale. This is a copper and brass kettle. Um, really cute. And that sold for $28. This is a very cool vintage mid-century Crater Lake National Park in Oregon Wizard Island tray. It's got a little bit of marks on it, but it sold for $36.99. These are a pair of khaki cotton um, webbing belts. Um, we got a whole bag of these, so we decided to sell them in lots of two or pairs of two. And this pair together sold for $25. This is a Dickies uh, light blue cotton shirt. It is not vintage. It is made in China. has a little bit of writing. Um, still a cool shirt, sold for $19.50. This is a vintage uh, 1960s, 1950s Brent brand um, shirt, sold to someone in New York City for 20 bucks. This is a Sedgefield brand uh, jean jacket, um, but you could tell it was actually made by Wrangler, because this is Wrangler's tag here. Um, there was a Wrangler plant in our town, so that does not surprise me. Um, I had this for a couple years. It sold on sale for $21. These are a pair of Batula Birkenstock, um, like foam flip-flop sandals. I sold them last year and someone returned them and actually claimed that they weren't Birkenstock, even though it says it right there. Uh, it was really annoying, um, but I resold them for $25. This is a set of cassette tapes of Carl Rogers. Um, he is a psychologist who founded the idea of therapy where, uh, this is what I heard on NPR recently actually, <laughs> um, that the patient is in control and this person is just asking questions rather than other techniques where the therapist is in control and that was a big big deal so people are really into him um, you can see these cassette tapes um, by him and the funny thing about this sale is that this person who wanted to buy them messaged me through Etsy which was odd I'm like what and I said here's the link to eBay just buy it on eBay it has UK shipping so that was weird um, and it sold for 40 bucks these are a pair of feather spring uh, metal springy uh, shoe inserts um, they're made in Germany we found them at an estate sale and they sold for 40 bucks these are a pair of Gap um, overalls they're very cool you can see the label they're XXL youth probably like a women's small uh, which I described in the listing and they sold for 50 bucks. This is a Gap men's uh, blazer and it's this kind of like really soft moleskin cotton. Um, it's really nice. It's got three buttons and it sold for a best offer of 50 bucks. This is a 100% cotton scrubs jacket, scrub shirt uh, with snaps. It's got a really cool kind of watercolor design and it sold for 30 bucks. This is a bottle of Deborah Lipman um, nail polish uh, that we bought so many of, 800 bottles of, for about 35 cents each and they are selling for $13 each. So this sold for 13 bucks. 
This is the copper fronted and turquoise bread box. Definitely some marks, um, some stains you can see here. There's definitely some marks there, but uh, it's pretty amazing. Um, let's look inside. So the cool thing about these bread boxes is they would have like, you know, this wooden cutting board here. Although when you find them, there's a lot of times like just crumbs in there. <laughs> And inside, you can see it's pretty crusty. But it sold for a hundred bucks. It's a pretty cool piece. And we paid 15 bucks for it. But it's pretty neat. NA, Narcotics Anonymous, uh, solid brass belt buckle, probably from the 70s. Um, yes, 1975. Very rare find. I have not found any like it. Um, some had sold on eBay, but um, none were listed when I listed mine. And I bought it for $5, and it sold for a best offer of $75. This is a big old tin of Lincoln Logs. The thing's huge. Um, there are not complete sets in here, but there are a bunch of little things that we've pointed out. Um, and this has no lid, <laughs> but it's still sold for 50 bucks. These are Longaburger brand um, medium chore basket six-way divider. Um, these baskets are really popular around here, and uh, I just found this at my local thrift store. And it sold on sale for 1050. This is a vintage leather uh, Camelier and Buckley brand, West German leather attache. Um, it's got a zippered pouch inside. It's got a monogram on it. This pops down. Um, pretty nice. Sold for 50 bucks. This is a pair of National Park Ranger pants. Again, we find them all the time because we live in a county that has a national park. Um, and these sold for 30 bucks. This is a vintage uh, work jacket. It's kind of like a gas station attendant jacket or a automotive person. There was probably a patch right here. Uh, it's got a zip out liner, quilted liner. Um, we find these all the time. This one sold for $35. This is an awesome paint by number of a lighthouse. It's got an oak frame. It's got some wear, but it's not bad. Um, we took a best offer of $55 on this and I had to open an unpaid item case on this person. They just didn't pay, didn't pay, didn't say anything. And then finally, like an hour before I was going to relist it and block this person, they paid. <laughs> so 55 bucks and it's out the door. I'm going to show you a couple of things that I just packed up. Um, this was a u uniform, an army uniform jacket. You can see it has a really beautiful buttons, all wool, um, definitely vintage, and we know that because Union made, and we see who it was made for and the date, 1957. It was uh, pretty amazing. Um, and this sold to someone in Japan, Global Shipping Program, for $55. They also bought this uh, burlap feed sack, uh, which is really cool. It's got a lot of wear, you can see. Um, and I guess because they gave me offers, um, they were able to combine shipping into one box for global shipping, which is great. Um, this sold for a best offer of $35. So that was $85 total from one buyer. These are a set of three plastic um, Lisa Frank brand um, like paper clips. Uh, you can see on the back it says Lisa Frank. Um, and we actually found these in a box of like Jay brought home a box of like yearbooks and like old school papers and stuff. And these were in there. I think they were his sisters. And I thought, you know, Lisa Frank is really popular. Um, so these actually sold on Bonanza. Someone sent me an offer of $17, including shipping, and I've actually had these for several years. So I said yes. So these sold for 17 bucks total. This is a 1964-1965 New York World's Fair uh, little tray. Um, it's pretty cool. It's got the Unisphere on it. Um, and this sold for $25. 
This is a very cool vintage frosted glass uh, vanity light uh, cover. These are so cool. Um, if someone has a light that they want to make look like it's from the 40s or 50s, this is it. Um, and this sold for $28. This is a vintage uh, European uh, army surplus jacket. It's 100% cotton. It looks like it's never been worn. Um, and it sold on sale for 35 bucks. These are a pair of Calvin Klein leather kind of nubuck suede wedges. Um, there are some marks on them, um, but they're in nice shape. They look like they've hardly been worn. Um, and they sold for 50 bucks. This is a vintage photo album. Um, we do really well with these. This one, um, however, uh, is broken. You can see there's, this has come apart. Um, so I priced it low, 20 bucks, and it sold to a prop company in Washington State. 